Hi, my name is Jaime. Hi, my name is Ryan. Hi, my name is Ali. Hi, my name is Gonzalo. Hi, I'm Maddie. This is our technical demo video for our CubeSat. As you can see, we face a lot of obstacles as it's taped around. The panels, the holes in the panels were too small for the screws and the L brackets did not align with the panels. We also had uh, tried to drill it and we had a lot of trouble with that. As you can see, it snapped there. Yep. So then pretty much after uh, when we couldn't um, put in the screws, I just looked at the instructions and tried to put everything into place. And then I was able to fit some screws in to keep it aligned until I started putting the tape around and took the screws back out. And then I tried to pretty much make the same shape as the instructions showed us so that we could fit in the, the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, because it was too fragile, we had to add some tape. And the Raspberry Pi, we could just drill it in and it would fit perfectly along with the power bank and the solar panel. Yep. So this here is the Velcro. It's gonna be used to keep everything in place, like the Raspberry Pi, all the cords, the solar panel, and the power bank. But right now, not everything is in place because this is just a technical demo video and it's not needed for what we're about to show you. All right, so here we have our Raspberry Pi flat set build. Um, and here is our monitor. And this is our ground station right here. Um, so here we see um, the environment we set up for our Python. And right now we're gonna run the Python bottle detection code, as we see right here. Um, this is the detection code that will um, show how our uh, program is gonna take a photo when plastic is detected. Then when the photo is taken, there's gonna be a pause of 10 seconds before the next photo is taken to avoid a million photos getting taken and overloading the Raspberry Pi with images. Um, we think that this uh, way of running in real time um, will be more efficient than just taking a photo every five seconds and then detecting because there won't be um, such overload in the downlink from the Raspberry Pi to the ground station and there won't be uh, photos without plastic. There's just going to be photos with the plastic. In our demo video, we're going to use plastic uh, bottles and cups. Uh, we did some research actually and it, sh it showed us that in the ocean, plastics are usually plastic bottles or cups, the majority of them are. So here we're just going to show you guys how our satellite will detect objects and take a photo of them to store in the Raspberry Pi. So let's run this code right now. Okay, so now we're going to run the code on our environment. I'm going to press enter and we're going to see a little box come up here detecting. So here we see bottle. Move it a little bit. See it detects yeah, as a cup. Um, so here we see that he's holding the Raspberry Pi to detect the plastics in real time. And there we go. Okay, so here we have our ground station. So as we can see here, we have an application called Bitwise that we downloaded that connects to the Raspberry Pi and our satellite um, through Bluetooth and SSH. Um, so here we see that this is the Raspberry Pi just on my computer. Um, so we see the image that we just took was right here. And now we see the image right here on our ground station, meaning that the downlink was successful in taking the photo. Also, our ground station can also do other cool things like it can run um, any Raspberry Pi command um, since it's connected to Bluetooth. So as you can see here, it can run the Python bottle detection Pi program that takes the photo and then later uploads it to Twitter, which is what we will talk about right now. Once our photo is saved into the ground station, we then have a bonus where the photo is tweeted on Twitter, which for Twitter, we needed to develop a developer account where we filled out a form and requested it for this academic project. And Twitter gave us a uh, developer account and developer codes. We had to implement the APIs in order to have um, the Raspberry Pi um, and the Twitter come hand in hand, um, which had to do with the Python code that we used Tweepy, uh, which was a Python library that allowed us to do what we're doing right now. After the photo is taken, it saves it and it posts it on Twitter, um, which is great. Yeah, so now we're gonna show an example of how the whole thing is gonna look um, from an outside perspective and as a tech demo video. We have our CubeSat on, and now we're in our Python environment. So we're gonna run the Python bottle detection code. 
and we're gonna press enter. So it's gonna come up here. As you can see, I'm holding the cube set with the camera facing towards the bottle and the cup. So then and it can detect the... So as soon bottle. as it detected, it takes a photo. So we're gonna exit out because there's a pause time of 10 seconds. So cameras don't take unlimited photos, right? So now if the program worked as intended, we should go to the Bitbuys application uh, that we have on our ground station here. So we're gonna open that and the latest photo should be the photo of the plastic that were detected, the cup and the bottle. So yeah, this is the latest photo. So we're gonna open it like that. There's the photo. Here's the photo. So we obviously saw that the photo was detected and it was on our ground station. We're gonna know after we saw that it was correctly uh, saved onto the um, Raspberry Pi and correctly downlinked, we can now check our extra step that we implemented into our program, which was the uh, Twitter uh, post with VP libraries. So if it worked, we can go to our um, developer account on Twitter. All right, let's search, I think it's Raiders. Uh, yeah, Raiders sat Twitter, and it should be posted on there uh, with a little um, comment that we have for every post uh, that we coded to. So yeah, new plastic detected right now. Save the environment, and it's the photo, uh, which shows that our program worked as intended.